Up YouTube. Right, we're back again on this uh, transit uh, PHFA 2.4 TDCI engine again. Uh, doing this leak down test. Um, I've, I'm set up on number four cylinder, and what we've got, um, we've got the manometer set up in the dipstick, measuring crankcase pressure. Uh, we've um, taken the crankcase breather hose off and we have uh, bunged it, uh, blanked it off with a little uh, rubber bung there. Um, so we're going to blow uh, six and a half bar straight down into the cylinder and we're going to uh, check the inlet ports with this little whistle. See that? Just a little um, uh, little sealed face, um, like a little uh, sponge face that fits over the port. And if we are getting any leaks, it's going to blow down and uh, alarm us through this whistle. So, um, and, we, and then we'll also fit this one over the, the, the exhaust tailpipe which will tell us if we've got a uh, leaky exhaust valve so we'll, uh, we'll show you this test <clears throat> right so again here we are set up number four top dead center on the power stroke so all the valves the both inlets and both exhaust valves should be closed and sealed so we shouldn't get any leakage so again just as you put put the air into the cylinder just keep hold of the crankshaft just you know because you don't want it um, blowing itself over uh, you know blowing the cylinder down to bottom dead center so just just uh, keep hold of it once it's at the top you know you you are like so um so we've got six and a half bar in that cylinder we're not uh, we're not getting any leakage this is a good cylinder so but i'll just show you we'll put the uh, the little whistle little whistle test over the inlet port there we've got no no whistle in there no whistle in there and then we can while we're at it We've got the manometer plugged in into the uh, crankcase through the dipstick and then we can measure that and we're making we're, we're making four millibar in the crankcase which is the air uh, just leaking past the rings which you will get you'll always get that so we can record that figure four millibar on the uh, Cylinder four crankcase blow by piston rings. So cylinder four. You see that four millibar in the crankcase. And then we'll go around to the tailpipe of the exhaust. See if we've got any leaky exhaust valves. And we'll go under, just put this, put this over the exhaust tailpipe. You can see it's not whistling. We're not getting any air coming out of the exhaust. So the exhaust valves are nice and sealed. So we're happy with that. So it's looking like number four, we've got a good cylinder. So that's number four. We'll check number two next. Yeah, 
so we'll move this adapter out of number four cylinder spin that into number two cylinder because that's the next cylinder that's going to fire and what we're going to do now we'll bar the engine round to the next marked up position on the on the damper crankshaft damper direction of it's always handy to just put an arrow for the direction of the rotation you always want to go direction of rotation and there we go we've got number two number three and two are in the same position so that, that, I know that's number two because that's the, the uh, cylinder that fires after number four so We've got our adapter into number two. And then again, we just want to hold the, hold the crankshaft just to make sure it's not gonna, uh, well, this six, this six and a half bar, we're gonna blow down into the cylinder. It's not gonna try and blow the crank. There we go. All right, so cylinder two. Can you see that? So the crankcase pressure for this cylinder is just over four millibar. So four four and a half millibar. For cylinder two. Four point five millibar. And then again, in this position, we can check the inlet valves. So we've got no leakage there. No leakage there. And while we're at it, we'll check the exhaust tailpipe. No leak in there. So, I'm happy with that one again. So it's looking like number two's uh, not a bad uh, cylinder. So, one, three, four, two. So the next cylinder is number one. This is our dodgy cylinder, so. We'll, uh, we'll do a full test on this one. 